Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at solving a linear system of inequalities using a graph. So we have the problem, graph the following system of linear inequalities and find one solution using the graph. And we have y is less than negative x plus 3. We also have 2y minus 3x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So now for this problem we really want to make use of the slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. But notice how the first inequality is in the slope-intercept form of mx plus b, but the second one is not. So the first thing we need to do is get this one in slope-intercept form where we have y is greater than or equal to mx plus b. So now to get y alone, we're going to add 3x to both sides. And now on the left-hand side, we have negative 3x plus 3x is going to cancel. So we have 2y is greater than or equal to 3x minus 4. So greater than or equal to 3x minus 4. And now the next step we need to do is divide both sides by 2. So now 2 divided by 2 will cancel and now we have this in slope intercept form. We have y is greater than or equal to, and we can break this apart, 3 over 2x minus 4 divided by 2, so minus 2. And quickly, the in-between step I just did was break this into two fractions. I did 3 over 2x minus 4 over 2, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So now our new system that we want to write is in slope-intercept form for both inequalities. So we have y is less than negative x plus 3, and we also have y is greater than or equal to 3 over 2x minus 2. So now we need to graph this modified system, because now it's in slope-intercept form. So we identify the first inequality, and it has a y-intercept of positive 3. So this tells us that this line is going to hit the y-axis at positive 3. So we go to the origin and we go up 1, 2, 3, and we could plot this point. But now notice the slope of this first line is negative 1. If there's no number there, it's implied to be a negative 1. So we look at negative 1, and I'm going to write it as negative 1 over 1, because this tells us that using the concept of slope as rise over run, we're going to rise negative 1 and run 1. So we're going to go down 1 and to the right 1. And we can do this one more time, down 1 to the right 1. And now notice how these points are starting to trend on a straight line. But now this part is important. Since it's y is strictly less than negative x plus 3, when we draw in the line, we have to make it a dotted line because it's strictly less than. So we connect these points, and we're going to use a dotted line. And now we'll put arrows on the end of the line to indicate that it's going to go on forever in either direction. So now we have... We're going to shade in the solution to this. y is less than negative x plus 3. And what this tells us to do is if it's less than this line, we're shading in everything underneath or everything less than this line. So we're going to start coloring in everything underneath this line. And remember, we do not include the points on the line in our solution because it's strictly less than. So now we're going to graph the next line, which is 3 over 2x minus 2. This tells us we have a y-intercept of negative 2. So we go to the y-axis at negative 2. So we're going to count down 1, 2. Now we can plot this point. And now we have a slope of 3 over 2. So we're going to rise 3 and run 2 to the next point. So we rise 1, 2, 3, and we run 1, 2. So now we can do this again. We're going to rise 1, 2, 3, and we're going to run 1, 2. So now we plot this point, and now we can connect these three points. And when we connect these points, we could use a solid line, because when it's greater than or equal to, that equal to part tells us to make a solid line, because we include the points on the line in our solution set. So now I'm going to connect these three points. Okay, and once again, I'll put arrows on either side to indicate that it is going on forever in either direction. 
But now I'm going to shade the second solution in a different color. We have y is greater than or equal to this line. So this tells us greater than or equal to tells us we're going to shade in everything above the line, not below. So we're going everything above. So now I start going above this line like this. So now we can answer the question. We need to find one solution using the graph. Well, I always like to pick a point that has a zero coordinate in it. It would be kind of boring to pick the uh, it would be kind of boring to pick the origin. So I'm going to go with the point 0 2. We're going to claim that this point here is a solution to this system of linear inequalities. And the way we choose our solution, remember, we need a point that's in both of the solutions. So one that in some sense is in the section with two colors or lines going in two directions. So we're going to pick a solution in this region here. So I'm going to go with the point 0, 2. So it's always a good idea to check our solution. So we're claiming that 0, 2, I claim that this is a solution to this system of linear inequalities. So we're checking out, and I'm going to make a little section here for this. We're going to check x equals 0 and y equals 2. So now for the first inequality, we have y equals 2. So we have 2 is less than negative x, but we have x is 0, so negative 0 plus 3. Well, negative 0 is equal to 0, so we have 2 is less than 0 plus 3 is 3. So this point checks out in the first inequality. So it checks for this one, but now we're going to check it for the second one. So now we have y is greater than or equal to, but remember we're plugging in y equals 2. So we have 2 is greater than or equal to, and now we have 3 over 2 times x, but we're plugging in x equals 0, minus 2. So now the next, the next line is going to read 2 is greater than or equal to, 3 over 2 times 0 is 0, so we have 0 minus 2. And now finally this reads 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2, which is definitely true. So we know that this point satisfies both inequalities, so it's definitely a solution to this system. Okay, well this is going to conclude this solving a linear system of inequalities by graphing problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video was helpful.